Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker! And I finally recovered from my cold so it's time to get back on with the cider reviews. Now you're probably thinking, hey, why the hell is he wearing a hat and a scarf? I'll tell you why, because it's supposed to be spring now and it's still bloody freezing outside. It's almost like the middle of winter still. I swear we are actually, we are probably stuck in a perpetual winter at this moment in time, but hopefully this will mean we'll have an amazing summer. Fingers crossed. And also it just adds a touch of aesthetic as well, because I don't normally wear a hat and a scarf, so haha, there we go. I'm wearing a hat and a scarf for this review. Anyway, I have got um, another one of the ciders that doesn't actually have a date on it, so I kind of need to get it out of the way in the hopes that it's not actually out of date already. And that one is actually courtesy of the Gamers Cider Company, and it's another part of their premium collection. This time it's their Devon County Cider. Now, um... My friend David, uh, th yeah, David, uh, also known as Tuvar, also known as the Urban Viking, he actually um, lives around the Devon area, so this will be interesting because it's kind of like, um, you know, his home cider, as it were. Um, I've also actually got a Sanford Orchards Devon Red in the fridge that I bought uh, from the Essex Cider Shop because he did a review of it recently, and I'll be doing that a little later on. But for this review, I'm doing this one, so... I wasn't too impressed with the Adelson's Cloudy Cider, which is apparently also part of their premium range, and it was, uh, well, a bit bland, to be honest, so will this one be any better? We'll find out shortly, but like every other cider, let's go and get some details on Gamer's Devon Medium Cider. Gamer's Devon Cider comes in 500ml bottles, which is the only way that you can get it as well. The alcohol percentage is 5.8% in volume, which is uh, kind of a weird strength, really, for a cider. Haven't seen many 5.8% ciders out there. It's a medium cider, as it says on the front of the bottle, and the price is actually pretty standard for a gamer's cider, actually, coming in at £1.99 on Beers of Europe. Obviously, you can probably get it uh, for a little bit cheaper in some supermarkets, but they don't sell it in my area, so if you can find it for cheaper, then fair play to you. Okay, well, this is um, the first of, I'd say, like, four um, ciders in the premium... Well, there's five ciders in the premium collection, but I don't count the cloudy one as being premium. But uh, this is the first of four, which um, apparently is taken from four different places across the country. Actually, it says it on the front here. Um, medium cider. A medium cider with soft autumn fruit flavours, well-rounded and superbly balanced. Um, and it has the... Can you see there? Gamers Premium Selection. Estadin 1770. Um, I kind of like the uh, the design of this, actually, because it actually shows part of um, the county or part of the country where it actually comes from, which I think is a, a nice touch. If you're a bottle collector or anything, this will be a nice one to actually add to your collection. Anyway, on the back it says, The Gamers County range comprises a series of finest quality ciders. Each cider is produced using apples from a single cider growing county with its own distinctive regional flavour. Gamers Devon is a medium cider with blah blah blah, you've already heard that before. Have you tried the whole range? And apparently there's also Somerset County, Stewley Orchard, Adelston's, which I've done already, Newton's Vale and Devon County, which is this one here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Contains sulfites and obviously it's from the Gamers Cider Company. So, will this actually be any better than the bog standard gamers you can get off the store shelves? Let's find out, shall we? Actually, before I, uh, well I've already opened it, but... Can you see on the back there, that number? Is that the date? I hope it's not, because if it is, it's out of date already, but I can actually smell it already and it smells quite nice. Let's get a whiff. Oh wow, that actually does smell really nice. Oh, you're getting a... almost like a bittersweet note. Oh, wow, it's kind of, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's kind of, uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, uh, a Yarlington Mill apple. Because it's got that, um... You can definitely smell those dry hits, but it's also got a really nice... Yeah, a real nice bittersweet undertone to it. Getting a, a slight hint of uh, maybe toffee as well. Ooh, that smells really nice actually. So, uh, well, I'm actually looking forward to trying this one now because it's uh, 
it's been a fair while since I've done a, well, a really, really nice cider, shall we say. Not saying that uh, the ciders I've done previously have been terrible. But what I meant is it's been quite a while since I've actually had a cider. And I'm uh, kind of gagging for this one. So there we go. Here's Gamers Devon County. And, uh, well, as you can see, if I just move out of the way here, it's got uh, a nice golden colour to it. Nicely carbonated. Um, well, not even nicely carbonated. It's kind of dissipating quite quickly, as you can see. And uh, obviously, really filtered. <laughs> I can see the screen. Hello. Um, but yeah, that looks really nice. Got a nice older sheen to it. So let's get a whiff in the glass. Ah, oh, that <laughs> that smells really, really nice. I do, I do like medium ciders. They kind of um, have the nice balance, obviously, between dry and sweet. And most of them that I've tried have been, you know, really, really nice smelling. It's got a kind of a toffee apple smell to it. It's um, it just reminds me of like bonfire night. You just um, tuck, you know, tucking into a nice old toffee apple, and uh, you get that smell as you get them out of the packet, and you're getting that from. Uh, getting that from this cider. This smells really nice, so I'm hoping it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers guys, and here's to Gamers, Devon County. Hmm. That's nice. That is a nice cider. Ah. Oh. Wow, um, you've got a nice, a nice sweet hit to begin with. It kind of, um, kind of tingles your taste buds with a little bit of a uh, bit of sweetness right off the top. But as uh, that dissipates, you're left with a nice um, dry note afterwards, which kind of is lingering about in my throat. Let's get a uh, second opinion. Yeah, it's um, it has got a slight toffee undertone to it as well, which kind of gives it a more full-bodied consistency as well. It is almost like you're, well, like you're drinking autumn, really. It's got all those nice um, autumny sort of tastes to it. Um, maybe even a bit of molasses as well. A bit of uh, a bit of brown sugar is added into this as well, from what I can taste. And it just, it yeah, it's really thirst quenching as well. I mean. Got some nice juicy apple hits um, from it too, and really, it's got some really nice tastes and flavours coming from it. Now, I don't know whether this um, actually has gone out of date or not. Um, I don't know whether it's supposed to be carbonated, but um, as you can see, the carbonation has dissipated altogether, leaving it pretty much a still cider. You're getting none of that... Um, fizziness in the mouth that you get from the carbonation, but to be honest, I think that would actually detract from uh, the flavours that this cider is bringing out. If this was any more carbonated, then it would, I'd say, probably destroy the cider. But as it stands, this is a really nice cider. I don't know why gamers, um, well actually I do know why gamers um, don't make much better ciders, you know, to sell on store shelves, because it's for mass marketing and everything, isn't it? But if you see this on your store shelves, I highly recommend giving it a go. And uh, Dave, the Urban Viking, if you do see this, because I know, um, you know, I know his his uh, rep, you know his um, beer track record for his actual home county hasn't been too good. But if you do see this, mate, then give it a go. I highly recommend it. This is uh, a really, really nice tasting cider. You know what? Let's get a final taste before the final verdict. I'm getting, I am getting a slight gumminess at the back of the throat, but... Well, 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 just after finishing uh, editing the video, I've suddenly found out that it didn't actually finish filming the last bit of my video. So, I'm still here, minus hat and scarf a little bit later on. Still got my, uh, still got the cider here, but you didn't actually hear the final verdict. So, I am going to go and give Gamers Devon County a solid 8 out of 10. Never thought I'd say that for a, um 
for a game of cider, but there you go. So, you know, life is full of surprises, isn't it? But yeah, if you do see this in um, a supermarket, then get it. Especially uh, for the price that you can get it, £1.99, it's a steal. You know, especially in today's climate anyway. So, yes, uh, apologise for that, I'm still getting used to this uh, camera and I actually forgot to format the last video that I did, so it just kind of messed with the video a bit. But oh well, you learn from your mistakes, don't you? So, that was another episode of The Cider Drinker for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as with all the other times, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, I'm going to go and re-re-edit this video and finish off this glass of Gamers Devon County Cider. Take care, guys. Until next time.